Well, friends, technology today is impacting all walks of life. I mean, if you look around us, technology is everywhere. Today, I'm attending India's largest tech and infra expo, which is the Convergence India Expo, co-located with the Smart Cities India Expo. In the words of our Honorable Prime Minister, Shri Narendra Modi, technology is a great enabler and a force behind equality and empowerment. Well, this event which I am attending today, I think more than 1000 brands are showcasing their latest innovation and technologies. So let us check out uh, what's on display, what are they showcasing. Let us try to meet a few exhibitors and understand from them what is happening in the world of technology. We have a lot of segments in this show. The show has been divided into various segments like startup uh, hub has been organized, Internet of Things, Embedded Tech India, Mobile India Expo, FinTech India, Digital Gaming. So if you are a technology professional, you belong to this industry, then the show has been segmented into various parts. You can find everything under one roof. A lot of conference sessions and content programs have also been organized here. Uh, we also have for the smart cities segment, we have the future cities India. We have the building and infra tech. We have the water and clean tech India, smart energy, smart tech India and the smart mobility India Expo. So you can find a lot of variety here under one roof. This show is happening from 17th to 19th of January in Prakriti Medan, New Delhi. I'm your host Raghav Khosla and do subscribe to our channel if you want to stay updated with the world of exhibitions. Come with me as we cover this edition of the Convergence India Expo, co-located with the Smart Cities. This expo is the hub for futuristic technology, innovations, and everything that is smart and sustainable. All the business startups throughout India coming on a single place, connecting with each other, communicating with each other and how they are finding the ways to support each other is something unique and that needs to be done and more and more. I've met some two to three potential investors and they have provided me connections in Bangalore which is actually a plus point to me coming over here. So it's not like a waste in a vein. Uh, it's actually a positive point for me. Oh, this is amazing actually. So show is amazing. You know, the way, you know, the vibe you see, you know, it's very beautiful. These kind of exhibitions allow you to connect with people you wouldn't normally connect with. And coming from the UK, it's excellent to meet people face to face within India. And I think that's going to be a real accelerator for helping us grow within this market. If you see, there are various stalls, uh, stalls from various industries and uh, a lot of exposure you can get. If, right from electronics to uh, smart city, they've covered all in all. So Convergence always uh, gives us a lot of uh, mileage in terms of reach and we also get to connect with a lot of stakeholders uh, in this uh, industry especially, uh, say uh, in the broadcasting space. So it's been like you know uh, pretty interesting to get associated with Convergence. Yeah, Convergence India has visited here. There is a lot of experience here. There are a lot of technologies for different shows that you can see. And we are looking for some uh, commercial contacts and we are also looking for uh, new solutions uh, to carry to Colombia and um, we are glad to see here. So I think uh, everyone should come and visit over here for more exposure and to get the knowledge about the technology what's going on in the market. Jitne sare young hai unko aana chahiye ek baar dekhna chahiye aur business ke ideas ke sabse bhi yahan par kafi aana chahiye. Basically, मुझे यहाँ पे बहुत अच्छा लगा जो मेरी फील्ड का है मुझे उसके बारे में बहुत अच्छा जानने को मिला So friends, as I promised to you, we'll be speaking to the organizer of this landmark show. I have with me Mr. Dhruv Bell. 
the organizer of Convergence India. Thank you, sir, for giving us time. What a grand show you have pulled off in this edition. Please tell us a bit about it. Uh, what is the kind of content you have created? What are the kind of exhibitors who are participating in this edition of the show? So, you know, I would say the phrase that I would use to describe this year's event is a brave new world. Because what we've seen on the show floor today is a brave new world and how we're getting to it. Whether that's in telecom and IT, whether it's in fintech, whether it's in IoT, whether it's in smart cities and in infrastructure. What we've been able to showcase here today is the emergence of India as a global force and really been able to showcase Brand India. I mean, we've been trying to do that now for three decades. The mission of, of this platform and the show hasn't changed to bridge the digital, social and economic divide in India. That mission continues to today, but the scale and scope has changed dramatically um, over the last few years and especially now. The way Brand India is projected um, and the uh, positivity on the show floor today really demonstrated where we've come from and where we are today. Wonderful. Talking about the scale and scope, can you tell us about the number of exhibitors you have present here and the kind of countries which are participating and uh, also regarding the scope. So what kind of participants are here from which all domains and what all segments are participating? So we have over a thousand participants from 30 countries. We have uh, two country pavilions. One is actually a pavilion from the government of Moscow, uh, which is in Hall 1, which is our Smart Cities Hall. We have uh, uh, a country pavilion from Armenia, which is in Hall 4. Um, and the scale of the participation is across all the different segments. So the idea behind this platform is to build that bridge between digital and communications technology and infrastructure building. So essentially, the route to development today is through communications technology. So the idea of this platform is to build that bridge between the two. So we have companies from telecom, from IoT, from startups, 250 startups in a separate startup segment, which really brings a lot of energy also to the show floor. Um, we've got smart mobility, we have clean technologies, we have green energy technologies, um, we have uh, smart cities and everything that goes into a smart city. So it's the entire spectrum of digital technologies and infrastructure development solutions to move towards a more connected and a more sustainable future. My name is Ben Johnson. I'm from the UK and I'm the Chief Technology Officer for Aptitude. We are a data and business intelligence company focusing on low-code solutions. Today we're showcasing our excellent low-code solutions, which is the next generation of programming, and also our fantastic interim resources who can execute on any projects that you may have and need help with your data problems. So we provide resources within India, but we also have a lot of experience from UK and other countries. And we think that the combination of those two creates something that's better than the individual parts. I'm Praveen Andapalli, CEO of uh, three companies we are showcasing, Vital Global, Pranati Software Services and Varun Digital. And uh, Vijayash is the president of all these companies. <laughs> so uh, I live in New Jersey, uh, part of, uh, I came from US. We are an office in Hyderabad and all over the country, a couple of uh, locations in India, about 15 locations we have an offices in India. You know, we have a three different entities here. I'm showcasing three entities because I have a India Soft last year we did because of the partnership in uh, with uh, India Soft. Um, so we have uh, Pranati Software Services mainly focused on artificial intelligence products. And we are launching about four products next four months. Uh, that's pure Indian market uh, uh, developed in India as a made in make in India initiative actually so that um, and Varun Digital was launched like August so complete digital marketing solutions uh, basically you know I, I came from US right a lot of customers looking back office so we created that and then uh, Vital Global Communications is a main company we are almost 15 years uh, in the service um, we have about 4,000 customers uh, servicing from US and India so so all these customers need all these services so we are that's the reason we are able to have a three different companies now Next year, you're going to see me seven companies. So we're just launching a company called Payroll Company, Bharat Payroll. The name itself is a Bharat Payroll. So we're going to soon launch because we want to compete. There is a company in US called ADP. They provide only payroll services. I feel my own customers require this kind of a payroll company. So that way we started that company to only cater Indian payroll companies, which are coming from US, other part of the globe. They understand the payroll services. So that's the one product we launching for purely to Indian market. But in all other digital marketing services required by all over the world. But you know, 
our talent pool is very good here so that's the reason we are able to uh, offer much better rate and quality product because we are only focusing different particular industries and digital marketing side telecommunication side we are pioneer in it and voice yeah i'm ankita saraswat i head the marketing for sparsh sparsh cctv solutions we are show, uh, showcasing many products uh, that include smart city products you can see over here we are also the company who launched the 5g cameras in india so we have displayed a 5g cameras which have facial recognition systems in it and we have ip speakers routers and lot of iot and cctv camera devices we are a true made in india company so india is where we shine and we have our manufacturing units in india we have three manufacturing units in india we do about 70% domestic value addition in our products so uh, our company uh, provide true made in india solution for the indians yeah i am sudhir mittal i am director of delta systems i am iit i am alumni and we are a indian mnc our presence is based in us india uk europe australia and middle east so we are busy we are basically in uh, sap solutions uh, service provider across the world in addition to sap is software development and information security so our expertise is to provide you know high tech sap solutions to optimize the cost to to uh, increase the productivity and through artificial intelligence application in sap we we have a team of around 225 professor consultants worldwide hi my name is rahul shah and i'm the founder and managing director of vidyut innovation private limited we are india's most advanced coding and robotic company in the k12 segment we have the world's most advanced quadruped with us as you see we pro we promote these robots to industrial automation to colleges to universities for industrial surveillance for research and development for army intelligence military training and for uh, education purposes to the students of medical and engineering background indian market is the largest market in the world we are the largest number of msmes we have the largest number of startups the largest number of youth in the world there cannot be any better market in the world than india hi i am uh, shashank and i am handling uh, sales for honor systems So we are a South Korean company uh, offering end-to-end uh, -end video streaming solutions like IPTV, OTT, low latency, uh, mission-critical uh, video streaming solutions. Uh, then uh, we we have been uh, in the uh, Indian market for more than uh, six years now, and we have been uh, offering streaming solutions since uh, 2001 in uh, Seoul. So we we so we uh, have uh, uh, global uh, expansion plans. and anything related to streaming yeah we would be the go to company for uh, vendors yeah so uh, it's uh, called uh, caster v and caster u so it is uh, a very new technology so using uh, this you can remotely uh, control and operate uh, heavy equipment and some use cases can be for uh, drone surveillance and even for military use cases and even for uh, uh, security uh like say law uh, law enforcement there are like a lot of uh, niche use cases and how do you think this platform acts as a bridge for the industry because it is a great enabler not just for the indian companies to meet domestic players but also the international ones so what kind of comments you have for for this for this event acting as a catalyst for growth of this industry so you know we have uh, also multiple conference sessions that take place concurrently so we have a, a technology conference we have a smart cities conference and we have a startup stage and uh, when i say a brave new world the speakers and the way they envision of the future that they envision is is so incredible but what they bring to the table and the insight that they bring to the table is how to chart a course towards that future so they really show you where you want to get to and then how you can get there so the insightfulness that they bring to the table and the fact that we can create a platform where all these people can engage with each other and chart out that course whether they are people from government whether they are leaders from industry 
whether it's technocrats, whether it's people from academia, whether it's the media, to be able to get all those people together and chart out that course is what is the purpose of this platform. And that's really what we uh, see that takes place over the course of the three days. Wonderful. Uh, what message would you like to share with our audiences? Now we are at, at the end of day one. It has been a great start. Uh, if you could share one message with the industry at large and also if you can also convey how if one wants to visit this show, what is the, uh, is there any prerequisite, uh, what, are the, what, are, what are the prerequisites and how one can visit it? So uh, visiting is very easy. You go to eiexpolive.com and register to visit. It's essentially a B2B show, but especially on day three, we want to encourage students to come in. Uh, we want to get people to come in and see the, the scale and scope of the exhibits on display. So I would encourage everyone to, to come in and see the energy and the vibrancy on the show floor. Are there any registration charges? No registration charges. Charges uh, Registration is free. Um, we require a visiting card, but on day three, uh, there are no prerequisites. Anyone can come in and visit, uh, but over the age of 18.